According to The Hollywood Reporter, the upcoming Star Trek film, Star Trek Beyond, is looking to ramp up its action talent and have just cast the Raid star Joe Taslim to appear in the film. Nothing yet is known of Taslim's role. Star Trek Beyond is scheduled for release on July 8, 2016, which is just two months to the day before the franchise's 50th anniversary. John Byers saw the addition of Joe Taslim to the Star Trek cast. Well, I buy it, especially, you know, when you're talking about trying to build up, to use another sports analogy, GMs, uh, sports analogy, GMs will often look at their team and say, what areas do we need to shore up? Where can we add more depth and more talent? And if you're Star Trek, what can we do? Hey, the physical action. They've done pretty well with their space action, stuff like that, that have made, I've enjoyed the Star Trek films. I know the second one had its detractors, but I had a lot of fun with it. And so where can we ramp it up? The more physical action, I think, is an area. And so what do we do? Well, let's go to maybe one of the greatest physical action movies ever made and get the guy from that and put it in there. So I, I buy it. I think it's a good move. Now, at the same time, let's say he's playing a villain of some sorts. I can just see now a... I forget the guys who make the How It Should Have Ended trailers. <laughs> but I can just see now, it's like, wait, our enemy is across in that ship over there and he's requesting permission to beam aboard. No, just blow up the ship. We're yeah. good. Let's, let's not put him within hand-to-hand -hand distance of us, and, and we'll be okay. Anyway, but overall, adding this kind of talent's good. I give it a buy. Mark? Yeah, I, I give this a big buy, because what do you need in Star Trek? You need, And I don't know if this guy's going to be a villain, but you already you think about who we already know in Star Trek. We really just know the good guys. We know Kirk, and we know Spock, and we know Scotty. We, we know all of the, we, we know them. We know Sulu. We're waiting to see who can really pose a threat to them. So if you cast this guy in a big role, I think it's probably going to be as a menacing villain, which he's perfect for. The raid is great. It's the same thing that Star Wars The Force Awakens did that got us all excited, is when they cast a bunch of actors that were in the raid too, and we're like, oh man, these fight scenes are, are gonna, gonna be, be sweet. So I think it definitely ups that ante, and he's a pretty good actor too. So I think it's a credit to Star Trek Beyond, whether he's a hero or a villain, or he's just somebody who you don't really trust, and you're not even sure if it even pans out in this movie. The action quotient for this film just went up. He's gonna be a triple. Anyway, well, <laughs> I'm going to sell this because when I think of Star Trek, I think of pulse pounding action and hand to hand combat. No, I don't. <laughs> I think of human interest stories and uh, slightly higher minded type of, uh, you know, social milieu. I want to be a things. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the opposite of that. I, it's I think that Star Trek, this new Star Trek is a uh, an interesting uh you know thing i love the first two star treks but to me they aren't star trek they were just a different hey let's try star trek in a pocket universe and, and throw jj in there and they, they just kind of remade used star wars as like the basic remake of the first star trek and then did this kind of wrath of khan remix going with the dj remix thing <laughs> um star trek beyond just the title alone is cheesy to me and then they got a director who's an action director I got to just kind of be like, I don't know what this movie's going to be. I'm going to see it and hopefully really love it. I love the casting of this guy, but to me it just it's it's showing me that they might be going in a different a different way than Star Trek. Do you think Trek we're too be. far removed from being able to bring back the Star Trek feel because of the first two reboots or can this movie do that? I don't think it can redo it. I, I don't think it can do it. I think that the, they have to do another Star Trek that's totally different to get back the original Star Trek fans. See, here's the funny thing to me is that I watch these films and we were, I just said a little bit earlier in the show is like, look, if you're going to reboot something like a Spider-Man or whatever, make it your own, mm -hmm. you know? And when I watched that first J.J. Abrams Star Trek, it was it definitely a Star Trek made for, you know, the 2000s and I can't remember when the first Star Trek, 2009 mm -hmm. sure. or whatever. Was it made for the 2009, 2010 mm -hmm. audience? And it was made for the 2000, 2010 audience, but I still felt watching it, especially when you look at the, the the mannerisms and the interactions and the characters of Bones and Spock and how they all interacted together with James Kirk and even though uh, you know we look at Spock and and Zach uh, uh, I forget the actor who played uh, Quinto. Spock. Qu Quinto yeah. Zach Quinto um, he very much brought a lot of. Leonard Nimoy into his mm -hmm. performance. When you look at Scotty, he brought a lot of Dahoon into his performance. And if, interestingly enough, Captain Kirk was the one who didn't bring the mannerisms from the first one over. But because of all those things were there, I still felt like it was Star Trek, but it was a different Star Trek and a different first made for a different audience at a different time. I also don't necessarily think shor shoring up areas that might be weak. Because let's face it, the original Star Trek, they had a lot of physical action. 
but it was bad. Right, it was, it was Captain Kirk. One of these. Oh yeah, one of the double axe handles. The Macho Man double axe. Who ever does that? That's an automatic. And and no kidding, they did the karate chops through the shoulders. It's like, well, if you're good, so they've always had it. Right. Let's maybe just do it a little better than we've done it before. But I mean, you're right. They are two totally distinct franchises now. But I still think the feel is there for me at any rate. I want it to be, and I'm glad that Simon Pegg, who's a big sweaty nerd, he came in and did a rewrite and uh you know it's it's yeah. going in a different direction and I, I'm, I'm holding out hope that it's going to be amazing i'm just saying like when i hear news like this i have nothing against the raid or the raid 2 i love both of those films it just hearing that we added this amazing so then i when I, I heard that this morning i was like imagining like slow motion jumping shots and all this crazy action stuff that just doesn't feel like star trek to me so 